Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica and for today's video I will be showing you all how I organize my inventory for my online boutique. I'm very lucky to have a spare bedroom in my house where I organize all of my inventory and then I also kind of use it as like my beauty room because I have my vanity where I do my makeup and then in that section I do like my shipping area and then right here it's like my inventory which you can't even really see much and then for my closet I actually use it for filing important paperwork and so yeah that's kind of how I have it and then right here I have like a chair so it works for me right now and for every business it's completely different if you don't have the space or room to actually have like a full-on room for your inventory you can use like a closet you can use organizing like drawers you can just work with what you got you don't need like an actual room you know so I really wanted to show you all how I do it to inspire you guys if you guys need help on how to organize as well and so I hope that you enjoy the video so let's get started so this is the space that I work with for my inventory I like to keep this space empty so that you can't really see it when I film videos but when I do get more inventory that's where I'll store it so I love that I have room to grow in but this is it right here I did get both of the drawings from home goods I have eyelashes up there because I am a beauty guru and then this I thought was super super cute I'm like a computer because that's like me all the time I'm always working and then I have a chair. This is, this chair is so old, you guys. I literally got it from TJ Maxx so many years ago, like over five years ago. And Chaz even used it at one point for like his gaming setup. And my niece would always get on this chair. And so it has like a lot of makeup and stains, but I, I cleaned it up pretty good. And then this pillow from TJ Maxx. But yeah, super cute. And then right here is where I store all of my inventory. So I like to hang my inventory if I can. So all of my inventory just come in boxes. And I like to remove them from their bags just to check for quality control. Just to make sure that they all look like, you know, the pictures that they were supposed to look like. That there's no tear on them, you know that all the stitches is on them. So I like to do quality control and then I add my tag on all of the clothes. And then in the back I write what the name of the product is and then the size as well. So right here I have my falling in love skirt, super cute. And then I have this really cute lounge set. So I have the shorts in front and then the long top as well super super cute and then I have my shirt and then another really cute like pink shirt so I do have a lot of things that are black so I do like to separate them a little bit and then I have another like super cute crop top that has like little bows right here on the side and then I have this one super cute like a leopard print v-neck and then a cardigan slash top as well with gold little buttons then i have another long sleeve that has like lace right here super cute and then another long sleeve top i love it because of this detail right here on the side and then another long sleeve right here with gold buttons i love gold as you can tell and then another black top i know it's hard to see but you can tie it like on the sides and then a beautiful blue dress a white dress i like because you can adjust the sides right here to whatever length you want and then a hoodie this is my first and only hoodie that I have, which I love the leopard print on it. And then right here on the bottom, I have a set that has a top and a skirt and then white shorts. And then right here, I have a 
skirt that's peach and then an olive dress i have these in their original packaging but i did take one by one just to do quality control and then add my tags as well but then i put them back on the bags because i do have them here this is as organized as i can get them just because they didn't fit on my rack and then i could add them here but this isn't really stable so it does tend to tip over so that's what i'm working with right now and so once those items sell out i can bring new inventory in so yeah that's what i'm working with right now and that's as organized as i can get with working you know with the smaller space and then right here is where i organize my jewelry and some office supplies so let me show you the first drawer i have all of the earrings so i have these square up earrings these pearl ones these really cute butterfly ones and these cute flower ones then the next one i do have my blair uh headbands and it's super cute because they have like little pearls on them and then right here i have these pearl hoops which are super cute and then butterfly earrings which would match my butterfly necklace that i used to have and then back here are eyeglasses and i used to store my necklaces in this little bag so that's why they're there and then right here i just have more shipping supplies that are like extra so i have my hole puncher right here that i use for my tags for my boutique and then i have thank you stickers that i got from amazon i got i got this from michael's and then right here i've been getting a lot of questions on how i got my thank you cards so i got the layout from etsy and then i designed it on canva and then i printed them from vista print and then right here, I just have sticky paper for my shipping labels. I have just regular paper. And right here, I just have envelopes and then tape and then fragile stickers. I haven't used those yet, but always nice to have them. Then right here, I do have extra for my tagging gun and then just random <laughs> sticky note paper. Then right here, again, I have more little baggies for when I do have necklaces. I have a stapler in here. I have an extra charger and then pens. And then down below, I just have random things. So yeah, that is all that I organized right here for and it works for me. Like I said, whatever didn't fit hanging, I do have it down below. So that's why they're still in their bags. It's not touching the floor since it does have two bars down there if you can see in the middle. And then right here on this side, I decided to leave them in their bags again. Just for a little bit more protection, you know, if I move them around. And then I forgot to mention these white boxes for jewelries did come with this little cotton inside for protection which i love that and the white ones i bought from michael's and i bought this stamp off of etsy my phone ran out of battery so i'm doing the rest on my phone and so yeah i got this stamp off of etsy and i just stamped the back of them the white cardboard little thing the white paper for the earrings I got off of Michael's also and I love it because it also has this cut out for the necklaces as well so yeah I got that off of Michael's and then the pink boxes I got from Amazon so yep that's how I organized my jewelry and that is it for today's video I hope that it inspired you all and you guys have an idea of how I organize all of my inventory all right so that was my video for today i hope that you all enjoyed it please go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a thumbs up so that i know that you enjoyed it hit that bell so that you're notified every single time that i upload a new video and i'll see you all in my next video bye everyone